First base, your favorite run line or money line? I feel stupid even saying it, but Ooh, let's don't go say it. With... No, I have to. I've, I've started. <laughs> I'm pot committed. Um, let's it's go okay. with the I'll Twins run right line. Uh, the Twins are actually the worst run line team in baseball. So not a great start, but the Twins have been playing the best baseball of 2021, which is not a high bar, but they're five and one in their last six games. And the pitching matchup is heavily, heavily leaning towards the Twins' advantage tonight. Uh, Jose Barrios up against J.C. Mejia. Uh, Mejia was all right the first couple times. Cleveland tried this, hey, let's put Mejia in the rotation thing. But for the season, he's got an 8.53 ERA as a starter, and he's specifically struggled with left-handed bats. He is getting crushed in opposite hand matchups and the twins have so many left-handed bats that they can throw at Mejia. Um, you know, whether it be Luis Arias leading off Trevor Larnock, um, Alex Kirloff, Jorge Polanco, like just so many left-handed bats. So I think they're in a really good spot tonight. I, I don't think Cleveland's pitching is going to be able to suppress Minnesota's bats, which have been good all season long. It's really just the pitching that's been the issue, but it shouldn't be tonight with Barrios on the mound. So twins run line, as crazy as that sounds. Uh, Eric, first base, favorite run line or money line, dude? Share it with me. Yeah, I'm also looking at a run line. I like the Blue Jays over the Orioles. Uh, I like the money line, although it's gone all the way to minus 200. Um, so I like minus 105 for the run line. Basically a push if you spot uh, the Orioles a run. Um, the Blue Jays have a much better lineup than the Orioles. They're fourth by WRC plus compared to 19th for Baltimore. And I think they do have the better pitcher, even though you wouldn't necessarily be able to tell by the ERAs, uh, both of which are over six. Uh, Dean Creamer for the Orioles, 620 ERA looks to be uh, pretty close to what the ERA estimators have. Uh, 598 fit for him. Uh, he has fine control battle league average walk rate, but below average strikeout rate and a ground ball rate of just 31.8%. So he's going to give up a lot of contact in the air. Uh, Blue Jays have a lot of big bats who can punish him for that. Anthony Kay on the other side, 643 ERA, but most of the ERA estimators have him in the low fours. He's not a great pitcher, but that's a completely fine back end starter. Strikeout rate of 24.5% uh, is right around slightly above league average. Uh, walks a few too many guys, but 10.6% walk rate isn't anything terrible. And then he keeps the ball on the ground well, 50% ground ball rate. So far, he's given up way too many homers, but that seems to be mostly due to a 35.7% homer for per fly ball rate. Um, pitchers own some of that number, but they really don't own all of it. There's really, you're not really a better pitcher if you give up a warning track fly ball versus uh, a homer that just clears the fence. And Case had a bit of bad luck in that more of his have just cleared the fence. So I think he's better than his ERA. And so when you get a better pitcher, better lineup, I think pretty easy Blue Jays. 